Innovations here and there. So that is your generation. You are born into the world where the world is moving very fast and you can't afford to walk like a tortoise, to learn like a snail. You have to be very fast and be abreast with issues. We are saying global village. Global village because of computer. Whatever happens in America today, you can just see it, read about it, and have, have informed knowledge about whatever happens in Rwanda, everywhere, and in Ghana. So when you talk of global village, Ghana is part of it. The direction now is the computer. So I'm happy, as young, young guys and future leaders, we have been assembled here to learn more. And you should take it very serious. Yesterday, I happened to integrate uh, population well to bring innovation in the curriculum, but it's not enough. I will urge government to make sure that the way we place emphasis on sciences, maths, the same recognition should be given to computer science so that it should be compulsory. Once we say it is not examinable, we don't care. The teacher is not, when the teacher is coming, you decide to go and learn your science and forget about it. 
Meanwhile, that's the direction. That's where we are going. You leave this, go there. We are complaining of, uh, what do you call it? No job in the system, graduates unemployment here and there, because you all want to be bow tie, work in the office. Meanwhile, when you know computer very well, you can create your own job. Very soon, getting warehouses will be useless to store your goods before you send them to the retail shop. It will be useless. We buy all our things to the nets. You negotiate, you get them the net. Two weeks, one week time, it is brought to you from America, of everywhere. So, to me, you should concentrate. The government should make sure that we shouldn't merely say that uh, we are learning computers, ICT at the foundation level and the SS level is abundant. It's optional. It shouldn't be optional. It should be compulsory. At least we can give ourselves 10 years. So we are starting with this batch. 10 years is compulsory for everybody. And after that, the results will change. And that will possibly affect Ghana. That's why we are here. I'm here first because I want to encourage you. I'm here. opportunity for students to know something about computer science to get the basics before or even to gain interest when they further the education whether they want to take part then this will serve as a basic they'll know how it is before they get into it it was interesting just to create something within one hour coding about coding and everything was it was nice you enjoyed it's, it? Yes. Okay. So you're going to pursue it further? Yeah. Great. Okay. Very interesting. Because now I've seen the basis of programming, computer programming. So now, based on this thing, my friends and other colleagues, they are able to program their own game because of this thing. So it's very good uh, program. So, so have you created your game yet? It's like um, bow and arrow game. Yeah. So you just like playing the bow and arrow game. Uh, doing it to enter a certain uh, a certain hole. So if you are able, you win a point. If you are not able, then you, you deduct a point from your uh, mass. Thank you very much. We want to introduce the students to the idea of computer science. Now, we want this to inform them in how to choose their career path or how to choose their major when they go to the university. So many of my students, I have some simple uh, uh, research that I do, and almost 99% of my students says they will do computer science in the university. And that is it. And we will monitor them, we will always monitor them till they become some people, some great coders in future. You know what I want to see? One day I want to see one Ghanaian or one of my students working at Google, doing proper coding. Or creating a Ghanaian Google. Yeah, that's true, a Ghanaian Google, a very big software. I want to see my students writing apps from now. Always I tell them, you know what I want? I want you to one day tell me that, oh sir, at, after high school, I got my first one million dollars, or my first uh, one million Ghana cities, through an app that I created. And it's so simple, they can do it. They can do it.